In tutorial 3, we made an upper left live super using 3D primitives and added animated texture maps to the surface. This lower third name super has been designed in a similar way. 3D primitives have been just stacked on top of one another and different colors and animated texture maps on their surfaces. This is also a good example of elements in the scene graph looping all independently over different lengths of time. Text templates then finish the two-line lower third scene. It is important to note that I am showing these examples using 3D primitives and animated texture maps. You can still use your own design with bitmap files or 3D objects. Using 3D primitives is just another example of how to build scenes using the design tools in Lyric. So in part 5 we are going to learn how to make similar looking scenes interact with each other. In the past tutorials we started to look at adding different animations to a single scene using the transition timeline tabs. In both cases we actually named our own transitions, but in part 5 we will use the choices that Lyric Pro provides us. We will create on and off effects, and then update effects. So let's start with creating the effect on. First, select the top group, which is a group of everything in the scene. With the cursor over the default timeline tab, right click and select Add Transition. Click the drop down and you will see four transitions to select from. Click on the effect in and click the selected radio button because we already selected the group in the scene graph. Click OK and while we're here, let's do the same for the effect out. Alright, let's start with the effect in. At time zero, let's give it an X rotation and then bring it forward using the Z position. Now go down to the one second mark on the timeline and it is very easy to just click on the X reset button and the Z reset button. As I've done before, let's put an ease in on the end keyframe. Now go to the effect out. I'll basically do the reverse animation at the one second mark. Rotate it on the X rotation and zoom it forward on the Z position. Finally, add an ease out on the first keyframe. So now we have the lower third new super affecting onto and off the output with these two animations. Now let's put update effects into the scene. First of all, we have to decide which elements in the scene graph to add to the update timeline tabs. For this scene, the two rows of text are the ones we need to add. So open up the top group and select both text templates by control clicking the mouse. Let's right click on the default timeline tab, select add transition and select update in. Click on the selected radio button and click OK. And do the same for the update out. Now create the animations for the update out. The update out animation is the one that takes the text off the screen when on the output. Let's just slide the text down to the right and then bring the surface properties down to zero as the second keyframe of each. Now select the update in and with both text layers selected, bring the surface properties down to zero at time zero and then at about 15 frames bring them back up. This will create a fade up of the text in the scene that is coming onto the output. Let's just give it a test to see how it looks when two scenes that are similar will interact with each other. Read the scene and play it to the output. You can see that it affected onto the output with the effect in that we had just created. Now read the same scene again and type in some new text. When we play this scene to the output, the background bars stay in place and just the text updates with the update effects we created. We have one more thing to do to complete this scene. In the transition properties, let's name it and give it a description. The name of the scene is what is used to ensure similar name scenes properly affect with each other. In other words, if a scene named lower third is on the output and a new scene named OTS is animated to the output, the names of the two scenes do not match and therefore the lower third will perform its effect out and the OTS will perform its effect in. This of course is true unless you make the scenes persistent, but it is that easy to make similar scenes and different scenes interact properly. The description name will be used in the next tutorial. 
So in just a few minutes we created a lower third name super using Lyric Pro's 3D primitives and designed animations in the scene used to interact with each other.